Hey folks, I'm H. Mr. Dr. Pink. Today's topic is the, oh my God, the misery blues. <laughs> yeah, it's a cool little blues riff. I show sure has sounds, really cool. was the misery blues uh, sounds like a normal 12 bar blues in a which it is uh, <laughs> but has some really really cool features in it uh, which you might have never seen before and that is going to check me out now <laughs> since it's a 12 bar blues it's four times a two times d two times a two times wait, two times a one e one d a e but there are special riffs on each of them so this one is That one is a very cool one. Why? Because we're playing a, a 13. So open the A string, 5th fret, 6th, 7th. And because this is a cool chord to grab, you can add some vibrato. See? You vibrate it. Yeah. And the second thing is it doesn't start on 1, it starts on 3 and So 1, 2, Three and four and see first the low uh, bass note A string and then the chord one two three and four and, one. and then we go down to A five which is very common one always switch between the upper part of the chord and the lower part of the chord check out your proper damping technique here put your Open A string is like open, and here you damp. See, so very cool. Yeah, so that's the A part, and this is played four times, and then comes D. But in this case. We're not playing a normal D7, we play D7 with an A in the bass. Why is that? Well, listen to yourself, it's much cooler. If you play a normal D7, which will be here, 5th, 4th, 5th fret. Sounds cool, but with the A in the bass, so you put the middle finger here on the low E string. So. Sounds much cooler, has much more grip, much more cojones, 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 for the Spanish speaking people among you, cojones. And what does it mean? <laughs> I know it. <laughs> yeah, and here again we add the vibrato. So, one, two, and we play one, two, and then we slide, and three, four, and one. And when we go back to A, the, the riff of the A comes on three ends. So, one, two, and three, and four. And then we go back to A. That's basically the trick which happens here. Then comes two bars of A. And then we go to... But now we finish it up just... So, one, and two, and three, and four. And now we go to normal E. Very common one, A, E5 here, 0, 2, 0, 4, 0, 5. So, and to have it really grippy, crunchy, uh, you want to have it really 
go through those strings. And how you do that, if you press the chord like this, make a little angle here with the finger, so the, a, the D string is damped, that's where you really can go deep into those strings. If you don't do that, it's not so cool. One. And you make zero, two, two, ze uh, two, four, five. Very cool. And then comes D5. Oh no, D7 with A in the bass. And in this case, we just play the quarter. One, two, three, four. And then comes the ending. So one, A5, one, and then on two, go in the fourth fret, seventh fret. Now we move up fifth fret, seventh fret, sixth fret, seventh fret, and end it up with E5 with triplets. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And on three, stop. And then we start with the empty phrase again. So that was a lot of talking. I'm going to play the entire part now, like the last part. So one, and two, and three, and four. One, two, three. Ah, no, it was not like this. Sorry. So one, two, and three, and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, and four. And that was the entire last part, it's very cool. And the trick is really go deep into those strings, dig deep, be mean, have cojones, and do it, do it. And I'm gonna play the entire thing now for you. <laughs> It's so miserable, I cannot stand it. <laughs> yeah, what more to say about this? Uh, not really more. The The trick is the the cojones approach, the cojones approach, because you want to have it dig deep, it really has punch. With this these ways, you have these little tricks, give you an opportunity to get the full punch you can get. Really hammer it in those strings, nail it, and that's then you feel totally miserable. <laughs> yeah, good. I mean, um, yeah. I know nothing more to say. Doctor Pink, you. They're going to be a tutorial where I go soloing over that. But first, we need to know the uh, riff. Yeah, same as like uh, two days ago. We want some ice cream. This is very terribly hot in here. <laughs> Yeah, we definitely want some ice cream. You can download the backing track and the tabs, the full tabs, in the HP Crazy Students Club because, I don't know, because join there, the, the community is for free, but if you want to have the downloads, the premium membership upgrade is required, which me and Dr. Pink really look forward to because it makes the whole system healthy, like we give, I give, you give, and we all have some fun together, yeah. <laughs> Dr. Ping is so peaceful now. Yeah. <laughs> 